acupuncture, the popular form of alternative medicine that entails pricking your skin with fine needles. Acupuncture has been around for over 2,000 years and has recently grown in popularity. It originated in parts of China and caught on in the U.S. in the 1970s. It has since been used to help with the treatment of musculoskeletal and chronic pain, osteoarthritis, headaches, and more. Additionally, it has claims to help with depression, anxiety, and mood disorders. First, let's get into the background of acupuncture and how it's said to work. Acupuncture is based on the philosophy of qi. This is the Chinese term for the vital energy that animates living things. Acupuncturists place the needles where medians cross to improve the flow of qi. Believing in acupuncture would involve believing that there is a life energy. However, there is still more research that needs to be done to prove that this life energy called qi exists. According to acupuncturists, acupuncture works by stimulating certain parts of the body in order to treat ailments. Acupuncture points are areas on the body where qi energy can be accessed and manipulated. The belief is that pain is accentuated or caused by energy imbalances which keep the body from healing itself. We know that qi is the life energy that is said to flow through the body. How does acupuncture come into play? Acupuncture is used to unobstruct the flow of qi when there are obstructions when two medians cross. Medians are the lines of qi that flow throughout the body. Each line is associated with a different part of the body. This animation, the red circle represents the obstruction and the black needle is represented by a black line. Here we can see an acupuncture needle is inserted in order to improve the flow of qi. A review of all published systematic reviews of acupuncture for the treatment of pain between 2000 and 2009 found little evidence for the effectiveness of acupuncture. Moreover, in a clinical trial of the effectiveness of sham acupuncture was tested, where a toothpick was used to poke the skin without insertion. In this case, no difference was found between that and actual acupuncture. However, both real acupuncture and sham acupuncture were more effective than doing nothing at all. Thus, it is possible that the effects felt by patients are actually just placebo effects. In recent years, there has been a shift towards consumers seeking alternative, cost-efficient medicine. This shift has made for more room for rigorous research in the field of acupuncture, where researchers have begun examining its efficacy in specific case uses. In a systematic recent review assessing the efficacy of acupuncture in rheumatoid arthritis, 10 out of 13 studies from China demonstrated statistically significant favorable effects of acupuncture compared to controls. Specifically, participants reported improvements in pain, physical function, and quality of life. Moreover, a review from Korea of 19 high-quality randomized controlled trials assessed acupuncture for the treatment of Parkinson's disease. The included studies were conducted in the Republic of Korea and China between 2000 and 2014. Researchers found that acupuncture works better than no treatment and conventional treatment alone and acupuncture in conjunction with conventional treatment demonstrated significant improvements in symptoms than just conventional treatment alone. Overall, evidence suggests limited efficacy of acupuncture in specific patient populations. However, these results should be interpreted with caution, since cultural differences in the East could also interfere with acupuncture efficacy. So why is acupuncture still so popular? There is evidence to support that acupuncture is more effective than no treatment at all. Why is that? Through clinical trials, it has been proven that acupuncture can help treat inflammation. This occurs when well-performed and frequently applied acupuncture provokes a sustained release of CGRP. So what is CGRP? CGRP is an abbreviation for calcitonin gene-related peptide. This is a protein in the brain and nervous system involved in the transmission of pain. In low concentrations, it can exert potent anti-inflammatory actions. This is why chiropractors and other health practitioners use acupuncture in their practice. In conclusion, acupuncture is a treatment with unproven scientific efficacy. The practice of acupuncture itself is based on the spiritual concept of qi, which cannot be scientifically assessed. Trials show that the placement of needles and even the insertion in terms of qi itself does not change the outcome of treatment. Despite this, some trials do show favorable outcomes for patients. As a result, acupuncture continues to flourish, with theories basing the benefits on possible placebos, release of C 
CGRP and endorphins released through the poking of needles. Thank you for watching and remember to always stay informed about the healthcare community.